So you saw a town just coming off the Olympics grow into this behemoth that this city is now. And let's be clear, you know, the Olympics were here, but most people outside the country were only aware of Atlanta because of that. And now all of a sudden you are a cultural hub where everything that's happening in this country is coming here. From the yeah. shots, the shoots in LA, all the LA people are moving here and they're sitting here and I've interacted with them yeah. and they're sitting yeah. here and they're looking, they go, why in God's name when I go back to Los Angeles? <laughs> like the weather is not yeah. that much better. The traffic is worse. The pollution is worse. Why would I go back? The lifestyle, they, they like it. But anyway. You so, go, <laughs> I'm from Orange County, an hour yeah. south of LA. The weather is much better. This uh, three yeah. months of summer here, dragging to more. Like it's gonna be 97 degrees today and miserable. Okay, I yeah, get, get it. You get the 60 degree. You pay for the weather. You pay for the weather. And I spend stuff, my time in San Diego. Right. I completely agree with you. you pay okay. for the weather. Yeah. But I'm saying, yeah. compared to nice going from is. LA to going to Minnesota, the right. weather here is is palpable. Okay, it's, it's, you, you, yeah. could, you could you could you uh, could. But talk about just what you saw the city grow, and talk about into your now radio career. I mean, you know, just just for some context, we're doing 180 advertisers a month, and you're dealing with all kinds of businesses and people, and you're at Falcons events, and you're at other. Just talk about what you've seen the city grow just from a marketing base and from a business standpoint yeah the 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 um the hollywood film industry that's blown up here has been fascinating to see that take place uh that's been pretty cool to see these giant warehouses for amazon and uh ups or whatever else you want to throw in there that have shown up recently and just continue to build and continue to, to do that says a lot i think all the different giant companies that are downtown filling up these buildings again uh, was it NPR? Is that right? What's the NCR? Oh, NCR. NCR right. Thank you. That did, got that big building a couple of years ago. NPR. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. NCR. Public um, radio is doing yeah. pretty well since <laughs> they got that building. Right. That's right. So, um, yeah, you notice it. Um, I think you have the brands that will stick around forever and, and just resonate to no end, which is Delta and Chick Fil A and Waffle House and and those ones. But yep. it's been fun to watch it grow. I wish it would slow down a little bit so people stop moving in and, in and around yeah. my neighborhood. But so far, uh, it's been quite a boom in the last 25 years that I've been here. I, yeah. I, I'm going to use this word only because of Nick, but I think it's the boroughs that have really popped up, right? And I yeah. think when I first came here in 88, you know, to Emory, and so, I mean, I think it was, you know, there was a little bit of Midtown, there was Buckhead. Can we and, call them Can we call them pockets? Yeah. The borough of Queens by itself is five times the size of City of Atlanta. So let's yeah. call them pockets. Let's not yeah. go. Let's not go boroughs. But um, but funny. I think that's that's changed. I yeah. mean, downtown yes. has become something now. I mean, you've got to your point with the, uh, you know, the film industry. I mean, the South Side. What it's done for that. We we know what the North Side has been, and it just keeps. I mean, it's out in South Carolina now. I think. But I think that's been the biggest thing is how there's these vibrant areas of the city nowadays, and you can go in you can go out and that's changed in my 